Hello guys. I shut my window actually, hang on. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Happy Monday, I hope you're doing well and you had a lovely weekend. Um, I think you'll be watching this on a Sunday, so I hope your weekend was really good. Last weekend from when you're watching this, I actually went to London. I said in my previous vlog, I went to London with my friend Cassie to watch People, Places and Things and oh my goodness, this play was incredible. I've obviously seen and studied this play before so I completely knew the storyline, I know what happens and obviously we did our version of it. I actually played the part of Emma very badly compared to Denise Goff because <laughs> she's freaking incredible. Yeah I said in that video Cassie and I obviously did that show at drama school so we were like we need to go and see the show but it was amazing like her acting like she was she was just so amazing, I cannot even, I can't even explain it to you. It's basically, it's a show about addiction and she's like a alcoholic drug addict and she's like a complete mess at the beginning of the play and then you follow her story going through like rehab and just like accepting this about herself, like that you have no control over people, places and things. And it was just an incredible story finally like sober and then yeah I won't spoil it if anyone wants to see it but it's basically just a hard it's a hard and sad watch but also like amazing at the same time there was still laughter and it was just oh just mwah. so yeah had a quick visit up to London I'm actually going back to London tomorrow for work with a client we're doing like loads of um photo shoots it's a really busy day i might bring my vlogging camera and see what i can film throughout the day but we have got like a really action-packed london day planned so if i can vlog i will but i just wanted to talk to you about the new book that i've started so i started on the train in london the um book lovers emily henry and i know i said in last week's vlog i was gonna start wildfire but i was looking on my book talk book talk book tick tock and everyone was saying like read icebreaker first even though it's not spoilers but icebreaker is supposed to be first so i'm gonna do at some point a trip to the works and buy loads of books i might do it in this vlog i just need i've got too many things i want to read i'm like overwhelmed because i can't read them quick enough it's like yeah but this has been on my on my um, bookshelf for so long and I've been saving it as like my summer read because I'm trying to space out the Emily Henry books because they are just so incredible that I just didn't want to read them all back to back so quick because they're just, I needed to space them out basically. But obviously I've read Funny Story, Happy Place and Beach Read and then I need to leave this one and then there's People on Vacation but I haven't got that one started this loving it it's so nice to be reading an Emily Henry again like I think it's only been a couple of months since I read Funny Story but yeah just really loving this like she's from New York and I love the like hustle and bustle of New York but then she goes to a small town and it's so far I'm only on like chapter seven chapter eight I've only read a little bit but it, I think this was the perfect read for me to start after the Chestnut Spring series because it's kind of like a bit of a comedy yeah, it's just like a little rom-com and I'm loving it. But when I was in London, I picked up The Rule Book by Sarah Adams. And this was on my list for ages because I um, there's loads of Sarah Adams books that are on my list, actually. But I picked this up because one, the cover was cute and I know we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but we do, okay? We just do. And two, I am obsessed with Sophie Jane. Uh, she's like a booktuber and she read this book on her holiday and said it was great. And I just feel like any book that she reads, I wanna read, so. So yeah, I just wanted to talk you through those. I have got a really exciting afternoon planned with my bestie Emily. We're gonna do like a little paint and sip evening this evening. And I'm so excited because I keep seeing these videos on Instagram and like TikTok and I think they're super cute. 
But yeah, we're gonna do a paint and sip evening and this is actually in collaboration with Purple Turtle Co. So thank you so much for gifting us this like painting kit. They make like planet friendly gifts and I just think for the summer, this is just like the perfect thing or activity to do. So it was actually Emily's birthday yesterday. So this is like a little gift for her and a little birthday party for her and we're gonna have the best time. I will leave the link in the description um, so you can check them out, see what they do or see any things that you wanna get. There's loads of gifts on there um, that could be perfect for you or a friend. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I will catch up with you later. I've got so much more work to do. It's reports day today at work, so I've got lots to do, so I better go. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Oh, hey, it's quite a bit later now. I've actually had my nails done and they've gone for this like red. So I'm literally just waiting for Emily to arrive. Just thought I'd show you the parcel that I received from Purple Turtle Co. And it's just so cute. And it literally says, handmade with love. And it's just like all wrapped. And it says, this gift has been designed and hand packed with the planet in mind. Yeah, so it's all recycled materials. And then it says, peace and love. And I just think that is super, super cute. So yeah, I'm gonna open it now. Which makes me sad because it's so pretty. So I've unboxed the painting kit and it is so cute. I'm literally going to set it all up now on the table so you can see and it's just gonna look so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna set it all up ready for our little date night. Bestie date night, should we say? <laughs> I'm so happy. I've put like little bottles of Carews for us to drink. I've got these glasses that I actually got from my nonna, which are just so gorgeous. So I'm gonna get those. I just need to get like some lemonade and stuff and then maybe some food for this evening. But look how freaking cute. I just found some confetti. So I'm gonna put it on the table and I've got like her card. So I'm gonna like lay it out for her. So I'm so excited for her to see it. Because if you saw my couple of vlogs ago, she took me flower arranging and I just feel like I wanted to do something really cute. So. <laughs> Portrait painting kit. I don't know how I draw you. I don't want to offend you. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. Fine. Oh, I think I want to do like hearts. Kind of Why like don't you try and paint that flowers on vase? Oh, that is right in front of you. Vincent Van Gogh style. Cheers. Yeah, look, there's a pencil. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. 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 What comes to us? Like flowers. Flowers, hearts. Yeah. Whatever. Are you gonna do something abstract or are you gonna paint I like know what I'm gonna do. Fruit bowl. I'm gonna do the seaside. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> the sunset. Oh, yeah. let's do the sunset. Let's do the sunset. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to be an artist by doing this like thing. <laughs> Just a bit later now. <coughs> We've really got into it. We're really We're concentrating a lot. So, Sally, you've pulled yours back, you know. Trust the process, Jack. Trust, Trust the process. The process. What did you think it was from? <laughs> <laughs> Art. Is... Not sure what the sky is. We're not done yet. It's pink sky at night, Shepherd's Delight. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Uh, uh, do you ever do that? Like, I do that sometimes. Jack goes, what's the matter? I'm like, it's just a nice release. <laughs> Jared says I always heavy sigh. I'm like, just breathing. <sighs> it's, that's a proper good downstairs toilet picture, that. Do you think? Yeah. You think Are you going to sign it in black in the bottom corner? Oh, yeah. yeah. Great idea, Jack. That was a really great addition. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yours is so much better. Look at that on the camera. It's not, it's so We stupid. both went for sunsets, but I've gone like <laughs> abstract. Yeah, I see? love yours. Abstract. Quick, she's got to get her train. 
but we've had a lovely evening. That was so fun. We were saying we were literally just sat in each other's presence, even though we weren't really talking, but it was just nice and peaceful. It was lovely. But I'm just gonna clear up now, make a cup of tea, ready for bed. It's late, I just popped Emily, I just dropped Emily back off at the train. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely evening. Thank you so much, Purple Turtle Co. So much, that was really, really fun. I would really recommend that as like a gift, an activity to do with your friends. So lovely. Good morning, guys. I've been rubbish again and it's now Friday. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I vlogged? Because I don't think I even vlogged when I was in London. Obviously, I said I was going to London and I was going to try vlog as much as possible. I basically just vlogged my book on the train because we had the busiest day. We were like running around London, going to different locations for our client. And there was honestly just no time. Um, so yeah, and I've been catching up like at my desk and like I had a meeting ever since. So I'm really sorry. I just I felt so rubbish this morning because I was like, why am I even vlogging? There's literally nothing to vlog I have nothing exciting going on it's probably really repetitive the same stuff is happening other than the different books I'm reading so I hope that you care about that because that's all I have to tell you <laughs> although something I have got to say my friend I've just been in the gym sorry I'm all over the place I've just been in the gym I've done a little run I didn't push myself too much but I did I did run I was just feeling a bit tired this morning um, but I went, so that's good. And my friend has introduced me to a new soundtrack that my musical lovers might like. And it's called The Outsiders, new musical on Broadway. And I'm obsessed. I feel like I need to go again to New York <laughs> and go and watch it because it's really good. The soundtrack is really good. Um, I've still got a couple of songs left, but so far, loving it. Yeah, as you can see, it's great and visible. And it's horrible. I don't know what's happened to the sunny weather this week, but hopefully it's coming back next week. So yeah, but I'm going to go home having a, having a bit of a at the desk day today. But there's a few things I want to do just as a bit of like self care because I seriously need it. I think that I've been feeling really run down, and I think that's just because I've been literally running around like a headless chicken. Another self care. I got my nails done, and I've gone short as well we've mixed it up obviously I know I've been a credit girl for a solid year now it's been a long time but I was feeling like I needed a break and then my actual nails are really thin they always have been I take supplements but they're still so thin um so hopefully I'm going to try this builder to try and like thicken them because I heard that somewhere so yeah that's what we're doing right let's go home okay wow <laughs> I've had a shower, I'm ready. I've literally been sat at my desk with my hair plopped in the t-shirt. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling relaxed. I'm also loving this setup behind me. I see and follow so many girls on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube that just like have the most gorgeous bookcases and like all of the vibes. And I'm just so happy when we got this wardrobe that we left that bit open because now I can just fill it with books. And I'm so excited about it. Talking of books, I need to actually tell you about what I've been doing this week, other than just running around catching up on work. And I started and finished Book Lovers by Emily Henry. <laughs> I made notes on my phone to tell you about it. Just her writing, like don't get me wrong, I've loved the smut. New word that I've learned everyone. Smut is like sexiness of the books sexy books of the chestnut springs loved it however there's something about emily henry's writing that is so like just beautiful just beautiful love stories that like still have so many like other relationships in their characters like there's like a relationship with her sister in this one. Obviously there's like friends in like Happy Place and there's just, there's so much more depth and it's just gorgeous. I've said that this is the best book, this was the best book to actually start after Chestnut Springs. 
And I just related to this character so much because she's such like a career driven woman and I just freaking loved her. Her name is Nora and I love the name Nora now because I love this character. So I put so clever, small town romance spun on its head, perfect after Chestnut Spring. I cried after finishing this, I cried because I just loved these characters. Charlie is the love interest and the girl is Nora and one, Charlie is like the best book boyfriend, like just what a gorgeous man he is. I loved him, I absolutely loved him. And then I've put, yep, yeah, related to this character so much, work ethic city girl. Loved that, I absolutely loved that. Like she's just like, oh and also, I'm so glad I read this after I've been to New York. So I wanna go back and rewatch my New York vlog because the way she describes New York and the way she imagines and her family living in New York is exactly how I've always dreamed and imagined New York to be. And it was when I went to New York. So the fact that this is just like a, ugh, oh, yeah, yeah. I could, honestly, I could keep going. I'm that passionate about Emily Henry and this book. So yeah, just to say that. Everyone, if you haven't read any of Emily Henry's books, please take that upon you to read because I know I'm like super late to the party. You guys on here will know. I'm a new to this reading and this year I've fallen in love with reading real fiction and I've read the right books. So if you're like me and weren't always the biggest reader but liked reading, but want to get back into it, start with Emily Henry's books because they will bring you joy and happiness and love. And that's what we need in this world. I picked up when I was in London, I picked up two books, hang on. Oh no, I showed you, I picked up Rule Book. Did I show you that? Picked up this when I was in London and I keep seeing it on TikTok. So I bought it. And it was buy one, get one half price. And me and my colleague who we went to London with, we were like, okay, well basically you buy a book and then I buy a book. And then we just split it because it's buy one, get one half price. So, so actually we were saving money by buying these. And I've seen lots of people read this. I don't think it's gonna be like Emily Henry, but I think there's a lot of smut in this book, which I do think I will enjoy. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of work to do today. So I should carry on. I made myself another coffee to keep me going. And yeah, I've got a couple of content plans to kind of get together. Just a little book dimension, just a little book section. I have to include it. I can't help but not include my little book sections and I hope you're enjoying it. So yeah, okay. So it's a lot later in the afternoon now. I've not done anything exciting. I've just been sat at my desk getting on with some bits and yeah I've just been getting on and like I said I haven't really got that many exciting things to film. I've just made myself a cup of tea and I've got some leftover cookie dough bites so I'm gonna eat those. Going crazy with my content plans because I am out of the office again in London on Monday so it's just busy busy but I'm really looking forward to this weekend because I have no plans. I'm popping out on tomorrow to see my friend for her birthday but other than that I have no plans but if someone asks me to do something I'm gonna say I have plans because I have plans to do nothing and I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just gonna read my new book and yeah I, that's my plan and I'm just really, really excited about it. Anyway, I'm not making any sense. I'm gonna go and carry on doing my work, eating these. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here because I really wanna start next week's video tomorrow. So yes, I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Purple Turtle Co for gifting me the painting kit that I did with Emily. We just had the best time and it was such a lovely activity to do with your friends. And if you've got anyone's birthday coming up or you wanna host a kind of like paint and sip evening or you just wanna look on their site for like other like activity gifts um, that are kind of eco-conscious, have a look on their site. Thank you so much guys and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.